What's up guys, I here and in this video I'd like to give you a simple presentation of what a simple anti-cheat could look like or how it could work. So I'm just gonna do the quick presentation before explaining how it works. So I'm gonna start it and it displays me a path. So I have a path with two files here. One of them is a cheat and one of them is obviously not. They're both working. I can open up the properties. So this is some random crack me whatever. And this is my CSGO cheat. And it's not even about what it says here. It's more about what's inside the XC. So I'm gonna scan the first file which is a cheat and it says cheat detected. And for the second one, it's not going to say that it detected anything. So how does this work and how do I do this? So you might think, obviously, it's because of it's called here, but this uh, is just coincidence that it finds the CSGO hack saying it here. So the aim is not looking for file description or something, but instead, if we drag the cheat inside a notepad we're gonna see trash like this and might think well that doesn't help us at all but not only here we can also open it up with a hex viewer which will be about the same result just that we have hex uh, signatures here everywhere and if we search for a word read we're gonna find something which might scare us we find read process memory and not only we find this in here, in the hex viewer, we also find it in here. Read somewhere this, somewhere this, right there this. Read process memory. So yeah, we can find even more, some standard handle, kernel 32 mouse event, get async key state, everything which we could use in the cheat is found inside the file here. And not just that, we can also find all these strings, although this program is written in C++, it doesn't matter. Uh, we can find all the strings here, master, guardian, lead. What can we else, uh, what else can we find? Let's search for aimbot. And there we have, set aimbot key, set triggerbot key. We can find even more. We can find the name of the cheat, we can find uh, whatever the, this one is a console one, so we can find obviously the console outputs, we can find all the uh, pattern scanning, can we find some just aimbot, aimbot key, aimbot key, aimbot bone, aimbot, 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 well yeah, we can find all the strings, we can find them all here, and if our cheat doesn't put uh, output anything, we can still find the read process memory, as we've seen. Open process, read process memory, all that good stuff. And this is basically how the anti-cheat, simple anti-cheat works. It's looking at all the text or strings uh, inside a program. So I basically just read it with a stream reader and yeah, I basically look for matches with my array, so everything which is in my array. I put in uh, open process, reprocess, CSGO, Counter-Strike, whatever. And to be honest, <laughs> it does a better job than WAC does, because if they would do this, then they would ban 50% of the cheaters. But I don't think they can do this because of the protection rings and if you don't know what it is you can look it up. I don't think that they are allowed to uh, look at a file in this way because of privacy. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope this was interesting to you and see you guys next time. Peace out.